Well, let's see if all the hard work has paid off. Um, I'm doing a test. Do this with uh, 19 minutes tape. That is uh, the one most likely to cause problems if there are any. So let's see. There it goes. First, a normal play. Okay, that seems to be all right. So, one tip: immediately when you start, watch if this wheel turns, because if it doesn't, the capstan will be keeping feeding the tape, and then you get a get a mess up of tape here. Now, let's see. First, do the fast wind. Okay. That sounds very reasonable. That's what I remember from when it was new. Let's do the rewind. Also, not bad, but I think I should do the rewind with a full reel. So I'll watch until it stops. Okay, there it goes. And always, of course, do the tensioning. Very important. So, and now the rewind with a full reel. Not bad. I did stop for a while until it's approximately halfway uh, the reel. Still. Okay. There it stops. What's that? I did find what's gone wrong here. Um, the tape has gone bad and loses bits of the magnetic material and exposes the transparent uh, carrier tape and this will act on the the, the sensors uh, here that detect the end of uh, tape that is also uh, transparent so that's why it stopped um, I later uh, gonna show you how I'm gonna repair this. I took another one of my tapes. This is a 60 minutes uh, tape. Well, we've seen the other uh, functions work. Um, one of the things we still should try is the pause uh, button. So it works like this. Okay. It works but don't know if the sound is loud enough but it makes some noise now I'll try to find the explanation for that well I think I did find an explanation why there's a noise when put on pause the thing is that during play both these uh, friction devices are lifted off the wheels uh, this one is still on the wheel of course like I explained uh, earlier on um, but these both are lifted on until you press pause and this one goes back on the wheel and now this wheel is held very very tight while this wheel still keeps spinning and while it's connected uh, via the tape this will also be held and the motor will still keep running and there's a friction clutch at the back and it's now constantly slipping 
through that clutch. So it works, but I don't think it's a good idea to leave it on pause too long. Let's now check the memory function. Uh, there's a switch here with three positions. In the mid position it's switched off. In the right position it should stop when the counter reaches zero. Let's check. Yeah, there it goes, it stops. Um, with the switch to the left, it should start playing when at zero. And there it goes, that works. But the strange thing is, when I rewind it a bit further, and I press fast forward, and you would expect it also to stop at zero, but it doesn't. Well, I have another EL5 Alcacet, which acts the same, so I think it's meant to be like this. <laughs> 